Hi there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another weekly vlog where I show you the items that I am listing and selling on Etsy and eBay in my craft shop, in my vintage shop, and I show you other stuff that's going on in my life which sometimes is a lot and sometimes is not very much. But anyway, let's just get started this week with showing you what I listed yesterday. Okay, so first up we have this Pyrography cigar box. It is a folk art um, where they, they burn the design into the wood. It is an Art Nouveau design. This probably dates to the very early 20th century. It's a beautiful woman. It has some grapes. It's decorated on all sides. Even the back has a little bit of, of the pyrography. And I listed that for $45. And uh, then we have this ring, which uh, from the haul video, one of my alert YouTubers suggested that this is a harem ring. And kind of, yeah, maybe. I think it could probably be called a harem ring. I think it was made in Turkey. I've had other rings very similar to this that were marked from Turkey. This one's not marked from Turkey. It is has a, a, a little tiny um, maker's mark that says RM with a star. It is sterling silver. Those are real gemstones. We have rubies, emeralds, and sapphires, and marcasites. And that was listed for $95. And then we have this cut crystal three strand necklace. You can see the crystal is very rainbowy, colorful. It's a nice crystal. It's not marked. It's very, very similar to the Laguna necklace I listed last week, but it's not marked. Um, so I have it priced a little bit lower. I have it priced at 28 and here is the one order that I got today. If you're only going to have one order for the day, let it be a good one, which this is. This was purchased by one of my YouTube viewers. Thank you so much. You know who you are. She asked me specifically to get these uh, crystal necklaces listed, some uh, jewelry that came from my in-laws. And um, these are two separate um, cut crystal necklaces. One of them, the longer one, is Laguna. The shorter one is unmarked, but they're, they look really, really pretty together. Yeah, that'll look really nice. And um, let's see, the Laguna was um, 34, the unmarked one was 28, and then lastly we have this artisan signed dichroic glass pendant necklace. Look how pretty that is. Wow. Looks like a peacock feather. It is signed on the back. I wasn't really able to make out exactly what it said, but I, it has 6-8 on it, which I think is the date. I'm not sure what the rest of it says, but it is signed. Um, 19 on that, did I say? Hi there, it is Tuesday night, and I just have a few, a uh, couple of sales to show you. So I've never tried doing this before, just showing you on the computer screen what I sold. Um, so let's see. There. It's a an ecot woven tablecloth out of cotton in pastel colors, probably from India. And that sold for $34. And then we have these sterling silver earrings. They're very um, dimensional, filigree sort of teardrop wire earrings and those sold for 32. Hi there, it's Wednesday morning and I'm going to show you a few things I got listed yesterday, I think. I'm going to start with some fabric. Now, these are listed in my craft shop, which is Karen Lebo, very imaginative, .etsy.com, karenlebo.etsy.com. Um, there are links to my shops and stuff below in the description. And um, this is a, a turquoise blue cotton fabric with this very fine embroidery. 
it's um, the same on the back side except negative. There it is. Um, and I do not know where it's from, but there's quite a bit here. There's like two and two thirds yards. And um, listed that for 38. And then this is some a little uh, hand woven fabric remnant, I think. Um, I forget where this is from. Possibly Peru, possibly Guatemala. I can't remember now. I did this, I think I did this two days ago. <laughs> um, but anyway, that one is um, 21. And then in my vintage tassel shop, we listed these hand knotted beads. They're made from red, I think probably African jasper. They've got these quartz little stripes and things. It's beautiful, beautiful stone. And this is a long, long strand of beads. And those are listed for 21. And then this is Mexican silver modernist brooch with inlaid onyx. It is, I'm sorry, it's not Mexican silver. Well, it might be, but it's not marked. It's just marked 925. So it's like a mid-century, maybe. And this brooch I listed for 28. Pretty nice. So here are my sales for the day, which I'm getting ready to package. Um, this is a carved bone necklace from Africa. I theorized that it might be Maasai, but I don't know for sure. And uh, that's all for 17 plus shipping, something that I've had in the shop for a while, so it has shipping. And then this is a jacket from Guatemala. This belonged to my mother-in-law, and I will show you a picture of what it looks like. And that sold for uh, $52 made from handwoven fabric. Really cool. Hi there. It is Thursday afternoon and I have a bunch of listings to show you. First up we have this textile which I think that it's Persian, not Persian, Middle Eastern. It's got birds and flowers and it's like this plush and it's on this hand-woven cotton fabric and I don't know too much else about it except it's really pretty and colorful I doubt it's super old because of how bright the thread is but this material is like hand-woven this is hand-stitched so it's got some age to it and um, let's see I listed that for $55 it's, it's fairly large and then this you haven't seen this recently um, this was in a haul I did ages ago, and I've been putting off listing it because it required so much ironing. This is an Irish linen damask tablecloth. It's in this really pretty silvery gray color, and um, it has a water lily pattern in the middle, and then polka dots all on the rest of it, and it's a huge, huge tablecloth with 12 napkins. So it's really, really nice. Um, listed that for $75. And yeah, let's see if we can move it. I can't move it. I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. Uh, and then we have this um, silk shawl, which is, oops, that's the back side of it, I think. It's, it's got these well, embroidered flowers in different colors. It's blue ones, orange ones, and yellow ones. And it's kind of this, um, I don't know what you would call this material. It's sheer. It's a little bit stiff. Um, and it's a really, really long shawl. I think it's 144 inches. So you can do all kinds of fun wrappings with it. It's very sheer and very lightweight. And uh, that I listed for $34. We have some jewelry. Um, oh, let's see. I don't think I wrote these down. These are a little hard to see, but they're 
Mexican silver earrings, they're black onyx and lapis lazuli inlaid. I think I listed these for 29 I think I didn't write these down on my list. And we have this adorable little cameo, which is somewhere where you can see it. It depicts Mount Vesuvius erupting. I did a little research on Mount Vesuvius just for fun. Um, I remember I, I went to Europe when I was like seven years old and we visited Mount Vesuvius and I just remember it's one of the more um, vivid memories I have of that whole trip. I was very impressed. I didn't know anything about volcanoes then and I just thought it was kind of cool but the last time it erupted it was 1944 and so I think it's possible that this was made you know shortly after that but it is I won't say it's a popular motif because I haven't found a lot of them for sale but I have seen a few uh, souvenir carving it's made from four different layers of shell and this I was hoping this was going to be silver, sterling silver but it's silver plated over copper Fil the filigree looks old anyway um, Let's see, where are you, Vesuvius? $39. I list I put a little chain on it that doesn't really match very well, but placeholder until you find something you like better. And then this is an Uncas signed ring. It is onyx, and I thought that was going to be a little diamond chip, but I think it's more like a crystal chip. It appears to be cut, like hand cut. But it, so I don't think it's a rhinestone. Uh, and it has like an open back setting. And um, the metal is, might be gold plated. It is a little bit distressed. So I put a very low price on this. Cause it is pretty. It's very wearable. I mean, it's a very cute ring. But the gold finish is a little bit worn on it. So I listed that for uh, $19, which is pretty cheap for an Uncas ring. And lastly, we have, gosh, this picture looks so dark. I think the sun went behind a cloud. Um, this is a 10 karat gold ring. And it is a Michael Anthony ring. Michael Anthony is a company that made a lot of gold jewelry for a lot of uh, big companies, department stores, whatnot. Um, and this is a pretty dome ring with a little engraving on it. And I listed that for one thirty-five. This was this was my best buy at the flea market. I only paid ten dollars for it, which is kind of amazing. On the other hand, I think I may have paid ten dollars for the Uncas ring too, not realizing the condition problems. So <laughs> you win some, you lose some. And here are the items that I sold today, and I'm shipping off tomorrow. We have this red nephrite jade bangle, and that's sold for $85. We have this pretty little rhinestone bow pin, a kind of a dark yellow and clear rhinestones, and that's sold for $21. And then lastly, we have this pair of genuine pigskin gloves. Ugh. Kind of gives me the willies, but they're very old. They're from the 50s. They're in really beautiful condition. They're, the brand is Founds. And those sold for 24 That's my bubble wrap muffin. Where did you find that? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> it is Friday night, and I just have one little sale to show you. So, this is a Mola textile from Panama. It has a dinosaur on it, and I will slide in a picture so you can see what it really looks like light is really yellow tonight for some reason um, but anyway that is it for today slow day 
Hello, Muffin. You're on my workspace. Oops. Okay, so these are the items that I have sold over the weekend. Three items. Not a huge weekend. I love this brush, though. Isn't this pretty? This is uh, sterling silver and some blue glass stones, I'm assuming. Um, this is not not signed, but um, that sold for... Oh, no. I'll have to tell you in a minute. Um, okay, then I just listed these today, and I have a whole bunch of listings that I haven't showed you. I think I'm just going to wait and sh oof, show them to you tomorrow, but these are some adorable... Uh, excuse me. Little tiny... Um, inlaid Zuni earrings. The inlay work is just, it's so tiny and precise. It has all these different stones, including even a little bit of opal and turquoise, coral, uh, lapis, m malachite, a bunch of stuff. It's so, so pretty. They're so pretty. I love these. And they're signed. And those sold for 32 And uh, lastly, we have this little brass matchbox. These like you put a regular matchbox in it. And uh, it's got this cloisonne. It's probably pretty old. That's a really old style of cloisonne. Um, not sure exactly where this is from. It's Asian. Anyway, it was only $18. I've had this for a very, very long time. It's been in and out of people's carts so many times I've lost count. But it's all. And um, I'm going to come back in the morning and show you the uh, listings that I did recently. And then I will close out this week's vlog then. Hi there. It is Monday morning and I'm finally going to show you all this stuff I got listed that I um, kept forgetting to show you because it would get dark and the light was bad. And so I'm going to show it to you now. So uh, the first item I have is this gigantic gourd with the beads on it. It's got some dangling coins. The coins were very useful for, um, for dating this item because the most recent one was dated to, I think, 1962. And there was also this tag. And this tag says, Mamba Decorated Gourd, Kenya. And then I added East Africa because I just did um, as I was doing my research. And, um, well, it turns out that Mamba, I was thinking, I know that it's a snake, but I was thinking, you know, it might be a, a tribal name, but it's really not. It's just a snake. And so then I found out that there are gourds made to look like coiled snakes, and this part is the head. So I guess that's what somebody was aiming at, but this did not look like the other mamba, vase, uh, mamba gourds I was looking at. Maybe it's just loosely based on that style, maybe the markings or something of the beads. But anyway, um, it's just a cool vase. And so I listed that for 68. Uh, and we have this vase. And this is a McCoy. I think it is, anyway, because... We have this tag which says Sears Roebuck and Company retail store and then in handwriting it says McCoy jar. It's kind of hard to read but that's what it says. And you can find similar items. I haven't found the exact item but I saw other McCoy pottery with this sort of ridges or rings and this green glaze. Uh, I think it probably dates from the 1930s or 40s. And we listed that for 42. And then I have another brass item. This comes from my personal collection as I'm decluttering a little bit. This is from India. It has some elephants and a goddess, which might be Lakshmi. It's a many armed goddess. And there's also kind of a dragon head at the top. I think it's an incense burner. You could use it as an ashtray. You could also use it as a little candle holder. It would hold a little votive candle just fine. That might even be the actual purpose of it. Anyway, uh, listed that for 32. And then some jewelry. We have this lovely Nautilus necklace, which I really like this side. It's just like an iridescent blue color in sterling silver. 
and let's see, Nautilus, $46 on that. We have these absolutely, look at the size of these, ginormous sterling silver clip-on earrings. They're Mexican silver. I would guess 1980s. That was the age of the huge clip-on earrings. We have a pinwheel, puffy pinwheel is what I called them. And I listed those for 34 Then we have this tiny little funnel with abalone. It's Mexican silver. It's old. I think it just says Silver Mexico, probably 1930s. They um, sold these often with little perfume bottles, and this was for refilling a tiny perfume bottle to put in your purse. I've sold several of these. They seem to be pretty popular. Um, okay, let's see. Listed that for 28 And then we have a little Navajo turquoise pinky ring. It's a tiny, tiny size. It's only a size 3 tiny ring, but it's really sweet. And listed that for 27 And I believe that is all, and I am going to close out the vlog half a day late, but better late than never. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do usually a couple of videos a week. I do these vlogs, and I do uh, haul videos when I acquire vintage things to sell and your comments are very much appreciated and sharing is very much appreciated and subscribing also really helps me out so thanks we'll see y'all next week bye bye